most scarce commodity uh, that we're going to see uh, in the planet Earth is going to be human attention. If you're talking about future trends of energy, uh, something that will, some learning solutions like micro learning, learning nuggets, personalization of learning, uh, gamified learning, game-based learning solutions. These are uh, some of the trends that I'm seeing coming up uh, just to make sure that, you know, this attention span, dwindling attention span is taken care of. I've seen a major shift in the way uh, learning is experienced by the learners from a more conceptual framework, management framework, philosophies and uh, trainer-led or PPT-led uh, style of learning to a more learner-centric uh, style of learning where learner is in the driver's seat of learning. In terms of how AI could really influence the field of l and is, yes, hyper-personalization of learning. A lot of uh, schools and educational institutions, particularly in the West, are also leveraging AI to understand certain learner biases and behaviors. Also, another way I see AI disrupting the field of l and is to make it more inclusive specifically for the differently abled who are challenged either visually or uh, from a listening point of view. I think leveraging AI in learning also brings in very rich data analysis of my learners. A lot of people are applying traditional job search methods still because that's what they have done before or that's what they have heard from their peers and colleagues with regard to just refresh your resume, align your resume with the JDs you know, using the right keywords and then start applying to jobs on the portals and then keep applying as much as possible. You'll hear back within some time. It's really happening less and less today, right? Earlier, perhaps if you had a, you know, three to 4% chance of landing your target role today, it's less than 2%, right?